high. In the Netherlands, secondary school children have to do a test in arithmetic. The scores for such a test are normally distributed with expectation equal to 60 points. At a certain school, the management doubts whether their school meets this expectation this year. They are afraid their school does not achieve scores corresponding to the national average score of 60 points. In this video, you will learn about the t-test, a testing procedure that helps you to decide on basis of data whether the management of the school is right or wrong. In many cases of hypothesis testing, you test an assumption about the value of the expectation of the model distribution. If you want to know if this expectation differs from a given quantity, you can use the t-test. In this video, we assume the data are from a normal distribution with both parameters mu and sigma squared unknown. In class, we will generalize this. You test the null hypothesis mu is equal to some given mu zero against one of the following alternative hypotheses. Mu is greater than mu zero, mu is not equal to mu zero, or mu is smaller than mu zero. This is equivalent to testing if the differences are greater than, not equal to, or smaller than zero. Here is the definition of the test statistic for such a testing problem. Let's have a closer look at this definition. First, you see that large values of t provide evidence against the null hypothesis of equal expectations. Moreover, you see it depends on the sample size n, the sample mean xn, and on the sample standard deviation that we called sn, quantities that you can always compute from the data. Now remember, the data were supposed to be representations of normally distributed random variables. This implies that t is in fact a studentized mean introduced to you before. So you know it has a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So let's go back to our example of school kids doing an arithmetic test. Suppose you choose 25 children at random, and suppose that their average score on the test turns out to be 56 points. Is it a coincidence that the score is below the national mean score or not? What hypothesis do you test? Well, the null hypothesis is that the school does meet the national norm of 60 points, and the alternative hypothesis is that the score is below this average. The mean score of the 25 students is equal to 56, the sample standard deviation turns out to be 10. So the value of t is small t, which is equal to 56 minus 60, divided by 10 divided by the square root, root of 25, which is minus 2. Let's perform the test at a significance level of 95%. To decide whether you reject the null hypothesis, you have to compare the outcome of your test statistic t to the critical value of the t-distribution with 24 degrees of freedom. This critical value can be found in a table. In this case, it is 1.711. Because the test is one-sided, you, you need to take the critical value of the t24 distribution at alpha equals 0 0.05. Because the t-distribution is symmetric, you compare the value minus 2 of your test statistic to the left critical value minus 1.711. And you see that it does lie in the critical region, so you can reject the null hypothesis that the school meets the national norm. The data seem to provide enough evidence to conclude that the school performs worse than other schools. So you learned that if you want to test hypotheses comparing an expectation to an a priori given value in the case of normally distributed data with unknown variance, you can use the t-test to do this. And you learned how to compute the t-test statistic that provides you with a numerical value to decide whether to reject the null hypothesis for such a testing problem. To check if you understood this well, Perform two other tests with these data before you come to class. 
do the same test, but now at significance level 99%, and test the null hypothesis that mu equals 60 against the alternative hypothesis that mu is not equal to 60 at a significance level of 95%. Report the value of the test statistic and of the critical value for the test and give your conclusion of the test. Good luck and thank you for your attention.